Shalom Israel. Hope you're having a beautiful day today. Blessings and favor. Love to you all, all the 12 tribes and all that will cleave unto the house of Israel. All right. And that will serve the most high power. All right. Ask that he cover you and watch over you and bless you. All right. And that you keep him first and keep your agreement because he will keep his agreement. And he's going to bless you. Today I'm going to be talking about mortars. I'm letting you know that we need to be faithful unto death. All right. And uh, trust in our power. And our power is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. The Most High. The Great I Am. The one that be who he be. Ahaya, Asha, Ahaya. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, we praise the Lord of Spirits, the Ancient of Days. And we bless him through his Holy Son. His one and only begotten Son, Yeshaya. Right? Christ. All right? Um, the Twelve Apostles. All right. Andrew crucified, Bartholomew beaten, then crucified, James stoned to death, James um, beheaded, John exiled, um, but he died of old age, uh, Judas not Iscariot stoned to death, Matthew uh, speared to death. Peter, crucified upside down. Philip, crucified. Simon, crucified. Thomas, speared to death. Matthew, stoned to death. Um, Matthew 16, 24. Then said Yeshia unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. And take up his stake or cross and follow Yeshia, the Savior, Christ, the Messiah. All right. Um, if any man will come after me, all right, let him deny himself. All right. So. Let's go to um, Matthew, uh, Matthew 10, Matthew 10, verse 27, what I tell you in darkness, in secret, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. All right. 28. And fear not them which kill the body, Israel, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body. In hell, in Hades, in Sheol, all right, Gehenna. Let's jump down to 32. Whosoever, therefore, will confess Yeshia, Christ, before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven, the highest. 33, but whosoever shall deny Yeshia, Christ, the Son of God, before men, him will I also deny before my Father, Ahia, which is in heaven, the Most High. Think not that Yeshia, the Christ, come to send peace on earth. Christ, Yeshia, came not to send peace but a sword. All right. 
is going to bring a sword, a weapon upon earth. <clears throat> so, let's continue. All right. It's going to go to uh, Maccabees. First Maccabees, your apocrypha. Or go to King James Bible online and look up the apocrypha and look up first Maccabees. Verse um, 56. And when they had rent in pieces the books of the law, the commandment, which they found, they burnt them with fire. Okay. They burnt the books of the Most High with fire. And wheresoever it was found with any the book of the testament, the law, or if any considered to the law, the commandments, the king's commandment was that they should put him to death. All right. Currently in progress in different countries. It's going to happen in this country. Because why? He said it's going to be a famine of the word. All right. It says, now did they by their authority, this did they by their power unto the Israelites, who are the Israelites. The children of Israel. Alright. Um, the promised seed of Abraham. Alright. So the children of God are being prosecuted. Alright. The, the Negro, the Native American, and the Hispanic. All right, all over the globe, all right, and others, because we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, the children of Israel. It says, this they did by their power or authority unto the Israelites every month to as many as were found in the cities. Now the five and twenty-fifth day of the month, they did sacrifice upon the altar. I'm, I'm sorry, the idol altar, which was upon the altar of the Most High. The idol altar was upon the altar of the Most High. Look how wicked that is. At which time, according to the commandment, the law, they put to death certain women. They killed certain of our women. That had caused their children to be circumcised, circumcised. That had circumcised their children. They killed the ones that circumcised their children. And they hanged the infants, the babies, about their necks, and rifled their houses, and slew them. They killed them. That had circumcised them, their babies. However, or how be it, many in Israel were fully resolved and confirmed in themselves not to eat any unclean thing. Wherefore they chose rather to die, Israel, that they might not be defiled with meats, unclean meats, and that they might not profane, that means curse the holy, the set apart commandment I mean I'm sorry covenant agreement so then they died because they didn't want to break the agreement we need to be faithful unto death who's going to stand like that in this time the agreement meant so much to them so then they died and there was very great anger says wrath upon Israel according to this time all right you want the full understanding you read it i'm being lazy um chapter 2 and 19 then matthias answered and spake with a loud voice 
though all the nations, the people that are under the king's dominion, power, or rule, obey him and fall away everyone from the religion of their fathers and give consent, allowance to his commandments. Still will I and my sons and my brother and family walk in the covenant, the agreement of our fathers. God forbid that we should forsake, that means leave, the law, the commandments of God, and the ordinances. We will not hearken to the king's words, the king's commandments to go from our religion and either on the right hand or the left. All right? But the Most High didn't give us religion. He gave us law, statutes, and commandments. So here it's saying our religion. 23. Now when he had left speaking, he stopped speaking these words. There came one of the Israelites in the sight of all to sacrifice on the altar which was at Modin, according to the king's commandment. So he ordered an Israelite or a Jew to sacrifice on an outer altar, which thing when Matthias saw, he was inflamed. He was upset with zeal, eager, and his reins, his body shaked, and neither could he forbear keep to show his anger according to judgment. Wherefore he ran, and he killed him upon the altar. Also the king's commissioners, who compelled men to sacrifice, he killed at that time, and the altar he pulled down. Then dealt he eagerly for the law of the Most High, like as Phineas did unto Zambri, the son of Salem. You go to the precept, Numbers 25 and 9, and I'll tell you what happened. All right. And Matthias cried throughout the city with a loud voice, saying, Whosoever is zealous of the law, the commandment, and maintaining the agreement, let him follow me. All right. All right. Now, let me continue on. All right. I said we got to be faithful unto death, Israel. Alright. So let's go to Matthew 10. Matthew 10, verse 21. And the... And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall raise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's benefit, but he that endureth to the end will be saved. He that endureth to the end will be saved, Israel. All right. Matthew 24 and 9. Matthew 24 and 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, to be troubled, and ye shall, and they shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. All right. Let's get John. John sixteen. John sixteen and two. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yeah. The time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth good, that he doeth the God's service, the Most High service. All right, they're gonna believe that they're doing 
uh, the Most High's will. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father, Ahiah, the Most High, nor Yeshia, Christ, Yahawashai. All right. Because they don't know. All right. All right, so, so let's go to Matthew. Yeah, let's go back to Matthew. Again. 10 and 28. Again, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. All right. Don't take the mark of the beast for nobody. All right. Revelation 2 verse 10. Fear none of those things which you shall suffer. Behold, look, the devil will throw some of you into prison that ye may be tried, that means tested, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be ye or be thou faithful unto death, Israel, and I will give you a crown of life. Do you believe him? Do you believe him? And then it says, He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the churches. Right? To the body, to the Israelites. He that overcometh will not be hurt. Of the second death. Alright. Alright. So. Let's continue to run down these. Alright. I just want to. I'm going to go back into them. But I'm going to run down them. Um, Matthew 16. 24 to 25. It says. Then Yeshia said to his disciples. All right. He said to his disciples, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, Israel. So you want to save your life, you're going to take a vaccine? All right. And what I'm saying is, because he said... Um, he said, if you defile your temp if you defile your, your body, your temple, he will destroy you. Right? So what's in that vaccine? Alright. What you gotta do, your due diligence. Alright, but did Christ take a vaccine? Alright. Anyway, for whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake, for Christ's sake, will find it. All right. Then Paul answered, what are you doing? I'm in Acts 21, 13. Then Paul answered, what are you doing? Weeping and breaking my heart, my spirit. For I am ready not only to be bound, to be chained, but even to die at Jerusalem. For the name of the Lord, Yeshia. Okay. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Some call him Yahweh But Yeshia, my Savior. He said that he was ready to die. Hebrews 12 and 4. Ye have not yet Israel resisted to the point of shedding blood. And you're striving, fighting against sin. It says, ye have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood, spilling blood, and you're fighting against sin. Okay. Let's get it. Um, 
Revelation 6 and 11. And there was given to each of them a white robe, Israel, and they were told that they should rest for a little while longer until the number of the fellow servants and their brethren who were to be killed, even as they had been, would be completed also. Hmm. Right? So that means more blood has to be spilt. Innocent blood at that. Revelation 17 and 6. And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints, the Israelites, the children of God, and with the blood of the witnesses of Yeshia, Christ. When I saw her, I wondered greatly. And in her, Revelation 18, 24, and in her found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all who have been slain on the earth. All right. And so that's, uh, let me grab some, um, let's grab some uh, history here. All right. Well, let's let, let me let me um uh, get Isaiah here first. All right. Yeah. So um the Mortardom of Isaiah, there is a true um translation. Look through the translations, but I'm gonna read it here. I'm in chapter four. And he brought many accusations against Isaiah and the prophets before Manasseh. But Belier, which is Satan, I rebuke him in the name of Yeshia. But Belier dwelt in the heart of Manasseh and in the heart of the princes of Judah and Benjamin and of the eunuchs and of the counselors of the king. And the words of Belchira pleased him exceedingly. And he sent and seized Isaiah. They, they, they arrested Isaiah. And he sawed him asunder in half with a wood saw. And when Isaiah was being sawed in sunder, Bechelier stood up accusing him, Satan. And all the false prophets stood up laughing and, laughing and rejoicing because of, of Isaiah. And Belshira with the aid of Menchabichus, <clears throat> stood up before Isaiah laughing, deriding. And Belchurah said to Isaiah, Say, I have lied in all that I have spoken. And likewise, the ways of Manasseh are good and right, the king. And the ways also of Belchurah and of his associates are good. And this he said to him when he began to be sawn in a uh, in sonder but isaiah was observed observed in a vision of the most high and though his eyes were open he saw them not and bachera spake even more to isaiah say what i say unto you and i will turn their heart and i will compel manasseh and the princes of judah and the people of all jerusalem to reverence you and Isaiah answered and said, So far as I have utterance, I say, Damned and accursed be thou, and all your powers, and all your house. For you cannot take for, from me nothing save the skin of my body. And they seized and sawed in half Isaiah the son of Amaz with a wood saw. All right. And... I won't go into more detail, but that's how Isaiah went out. All right. Faithful. In the Holy Spirit, he was speaking before he was sawed in half. Believe what you want. All right. Um, Luke. Uh, 11 and 50 
the 51 so that the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world may be charged against this generation from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who was killed between the altar and the house of the Most High. Yes, I tell you, it will be charged against this generation. Mm. Mm. Let's see what they did to James. Mm. I'm in a Josephus, uh, the Antiquities of the Jews. Uh, I think this is book 20, uh, paragraph, uh, chapter 9, paragraph 1, all right, concerning Albinus, under whose prerogatorship James was killed, as also what edifices were built by Agrippa, all right. It says, and now Caesar, upon hearing the death of Festus, sent Albinus into Judea, as procurator, but the king derided Joseph of the high priesthood and bestowed the succession to that dignity on the son of Anas, who was also himself called Anas. Now the report goes that this elder Anas proved a most fortunate man, for he had five sons who had all performed the office of the high priest to the Most High, and he had himself enjoyed the dignity a long time formerly, which had never happened to any other of our high priests. But this younger Anas, who, as we have told you already, took the high priesthood, was a bold man in his temper and very insolent. And so he was wicked. He was also of the sect of the Sadducees. All right. Uh, I'll read the note of the Sadducees real quick. It says, it's, it hence evidently appears that Sadducees might be high priests in the days of Josephus and that these Sadducees were usually very severe and inexorable, inexorable judges, while the Pharisees were much milder and more merciful, as appears by Reland's instance in the note on this place and on Josephus Life 34. And those taken from the New Testament, from Josephus himself and from the rabbis, nor do we meet with any Sadducees later than this high priest in all Josephus. So they were strict and they were wrong. All right. They were wicked. Uh, the sect of the Sadducees who were very rig, rig, ah, rigged in judging offenders. Above all the rest of the Jews, as we have already observed, when therefore Ananias was of this disposition, he thought he had no now a proper opportunity, chance to exercise his authority, his power. Festus was now dead. Albanus was put upon the road. So he assembled the Sanhedrin of judges and brought before them the brother of Yeshia, Jesus who was called Christ, whose name was James, and some others, or some of his companions, his friends. And when he had formed an accusation against them as breakers of the law, the commandment, he delivered them to be stoned. How did James die? He, he was stoned and with his companions. But as for those who seemed the most equitable of the Christ, uh, I'm sorry, of the citizens, and such as were the most uneasy at the breach of the laws, they disliked what was done, and they also sent to King Agrippa, desiring him to send to Ananias that he should act so no act so no more, for that what he had already done was not to be justified. No, some of them went also to meet Albanus as he was upon his journey from Alexandria and informed him that it was not lawful for Anas to assemble a Sanhedrin without his consent. So they, they, they unlawfully uh, killed James all right, and his companions and he was stoned to death. All right. All right. 
All right. Um, let's get a little bit more history. All right. It says, under Tiberius, the troubled land knew a moment's peace. Calugula, wishing to make the worship of the emperor a unifying religion throughout the empire, ordered all cults to include a sacrifice to his image. And Bay told Jer the Jerusalem officials to install his statue in the temple. The Jews, the Israelites, had compromised under Augustus and Tiberius by sacrificing to who is this God? It says Y A H V E H. All right. Okay. So, um, so. Uh, this dude put up a statue in in the temple in the church, and the Jews had compromised under Augustus and Tiberius by sacrificing that means killing to Yahweh in the name of the emperor. But they were so averse to setting up the graving image of a pagan in their temple, their church, that thousands of them were told. Uh, we're told went to the governor of Syria and asked to be killed. It says slain in cold blood before the edict, before the law should be carried out. All right. That's one thing there. Um, just a side note, extra information. Um, this is some of the rebellion. So it says the re these reports retain some or odor of war propaganda doubtless the procurators complained that the Jews or Israelites were a very troublesome people to oppress bands of zealots and dagger men Sakari were formed in protest against this misrule their members pledged to kill any disloyal Jew Israelite mingled in street gatherings stabbed their appointed victims from behind and disappear in the chaos of the crowd. Okay. All right. So let me see what else I can get in here. Give me a moment. Tertullian addressed to an imaginary court the most eloquent of his works, uh, the Apologeticus. All right. 